Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tommy and welcome to another episode of my series One Biome, Six Different Enclosures. In this one, we are going to take a look at, look at the tropical biome since uh, it was featured in the last park that I was premiering just these past few weeks, the Jurassic Gardens, and I want to I give a shout out to Dirt Lumps who figured out the pattern with these videos. In this video, I will show you six different enclosures for this biome, even though two of them will have two variants, because I said to myself that the tropical biome has been overdone in Evolution 1, and there's many of these things that people have done before, so this is kind of like recycle slash redoing something but let's get right into it the first enclosure is something that i like to call the jungle canyon so we're starting with a small river and then we're doing hills around it as you can see we have a viewing gallery conveniently placed uh, at the edges of the map i'm using the nubler 93 map where this is possible and it's a nice little trick, I would say. So I'm raising the ground around the water. I'm using sand around the water's edges to make it a little more light. And I'm using the regular tree brush because this is supposed to be a jungle. It's supposed to be a jungly canyon. Placing down rocks. When placing down rocks, you need to make sure to place uh, down the biggest rocks, then the middle rocks, and then the smallest rocks, and place them in clumps so that it looks like chunks of the bigger rocks fell down. I'm using a little bit of the shrubs and also some more palms, which uh, I guess I might have cut out. I don't know, <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> And uh, I'm creating this small island in the middle of the of the stream because I think that brings a little more variety to the enclosure and it brings something else, something different. I'm placing rocks there and I'm also placing some palms there, the individually placeable ones. This is the second enclosure that I like to call the Tropical Meadow. This is an enclosure inspired by my uh, Jurassic Park 2001 build where I put uh, the Paracerolophus and Corythosaurus there just as they were in the JP3 movie. And uh, I'm using the uh, shrub brush here with the flowers and when you look closer the flowers are all you know like red and purple and they're really nice looking of course we need to have rocks we need to have some sand texture in the water uh, in the water I usually mix the rock texture and the sand texture to give it that little bit of flair and we're using a few palms over here Two, this is the look at the Ceratosaurus from the first enclosure. The third enclosure is uh, gonna be called the beach or the muddy beach. So one half of the beach is going to be a regular beach and the other is going to be a muddy beach. I'm mixing the sand again with the rock texture and I'm making it gradually so that it looks like there are uh, parts of the water that are more shallow by the beach and then the water is more deep by the viewing galleries and uh, I'm using again the palm trees and I'm using the red dirt over here it's really looking very muddy and this is an inspiration from my one of my older builds this is the Paracerolophus by the way from my older builds, uh, the Jurassic Water World, where I used this in an enclosure with Baryonyx, and that's where I discovered this <laughs> red dirt. And uh, I'm using the red rocks with the red dirt because I think that it creates this nice uh, 50 shades of red <laughs> in the enclosure. And uh, of course, placing some more palms, some more shrubs, because it's supposed to be a beach, so they're supposed to be a lot of vegetation. The fourth enclosure that I'm doing is uh, called the Muddy Creek. This is, uh, again, I'm using the red dirt because I, I just love the red dirt so much. You, you need to forgive me for using so much of this red dirt. I will be using it in the <laughs> fifth enclosure too. This build is inspired by my Jurassic Park Atlantis build where I built uh, this uh, kind of river creek with these red rocks and red dirt for the hadrosaurs for the Cynthosaurus, and that's what we'll be using here today. 
uh, we are using the red rocks again and we are using these trees it's a tree number two and tree number three and also the regular trees but uh, I didn't want the forest to be so dense by the creek's edges and that's why I'm using just a few of these uh, individually placeable trees to create the uh, to create some space Space for the guests to see the dinosaurs from the viewing gallery and I'm adding some shrubs as well the fifth enclosure is going to have a river again <laughs> I'm sorry I'm, it's it, there's gonna be a lake in the sixth enclosure don't worry <laughs> and this will be again a double enclosure uh, this is a savanna exhibit and in savanna you need to mix the sand and grass texture of course using uh, we need to use the rocks rock texture in the water this is the look at the centosaurus and uh, when you mix sand and you mix uh, grass it creates this nice dry looking enclosure I'm using the black rocks again and uh, I think that the tropical environment is the most ideal setting for the a savanna exhibit because it does have the best sand the the color of the sand is just like very uh, good for this kind of enclosure and I'm doing a red safari on the other half with the other half not really sure what the preposition is and uh, I'm using the black and red rocks mixed and I'm using the uh, si uh, seed plants the seed plants now the psychic groups are different than this. this these are the seed plants and uh, actually I have a video on creating the savanna I have a, a like a tutorial on doing how to do that and I also have a tutorial on red safari aviary if you'd like to check that out so I'm really sorry for recycling these two ideas <laughs> Over here but uh, I, I found out that the tropical environment is not that easy to do when it comes to these six enclosures because as I said many of these things have been done before in evolution one I'm doing a temperate forest in the tropical environment using the uh, white uh, rocks and I'm mixing again I'm mixing sand and I'm mixing grass but this time you need to make sure that it's more grassy than sandy because in this scenario the sand in the grass is supposed to look more rocky than sandy and um, it's not supposed to be that dry looking and I'm using the ginkgo trees here and I'll be mixing the ginkgo trees with the calamities uh, calamities are some of the tree types that I don't usually use that much but in this combination it creates a nice temperate forest or a mixed forest for your herbivores I feel like this enclosure should have herbivores in it I'm not really sure why but it will have the Vorhosaurus and here we are ladies and gentlemen this is the final overview this is the valley or the canyon like the jungle canyon I like the waterfall in the back and these ceratosaurus are interacting which is a very cute and this is the look at the river that's going through the enclosure and we have another pair of interacting ceratosaurus here these animals just like to interact what can I what can I say right and this is the look at the second enclosure this is a, the a meadow or the tropical meadow I like using uh, these uh, the shrubs in the tropical environment because they have the nicest flowers uh, rivaled only by the temperate environment <laughs> they have they have the yellow ones <laughs> the third enclosure is the beach here we have the muddy beach that's uh, bordering with the regular beach the sandy beach this is the muddy beach part as I said it was a complete not accident but it was like I, I used it as an idea with the baryonics enclosure in my uh, Jurassic Water World build and it worked so that's why I was using it here and this is the muddy beach uh, again and we are approaching the next enclosure which is the muddy creek a lot <laughs> I've been using the word muddy a lot <laughs> the muddy creek with the centosaurus I also like how these trees number two and trees tree number three look in this enclosure and by this uh, small 
river that we have here. And I love this Centosaurus skin. All the skins will be li uh, listed down in the description, except the Cryolophosaurus ones because they were randomized. I don't really have a favorite Cryolophosaurus skin. I thought that these Mayanga skins uh, were... Uh, I thought Rana was the one with the blue patch over the eye, but I do love the yellow skin for the Mayangasaurus. And um, they look cool anyway. So this is the Savannah exhibit or the Red Savannah exhibit that we have here. One last final look. And we are approaching the Temperate exhibit with the Warhasaurus. And uh, yeah, I like the, the This skin was nice. This skin was fine. So this is the entire enclosure. And with this last look and this entire enclosure, I will say my goodbyes. Thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tommy. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share with your friends. And if you think that you will like my upcoming content, please do consider subscribing because I have much more coming up. I have tutorials, I have park builds, speed builds, and uh, much, much more. So thank you again. Have a great day. And until the next time, bye-bye.